Ahoy, ahoy, shipmates. Let me take a look how to get all the groom assets working in the MetaHuman Creator that comes as part of Unreal Engine 5.6 Preview Edition. Thank you so much to a tip from Ghost Project. He pointed me in the right direction. He didn't have the correct solution, but he certainly got me close enough so I can share with you how to get all these guys enabled. It's a thing that you need to do on the groom asset rather than the binding, and I'll show you the way how to do it on a single asset, but also on multiple assets at the same time in one fair swoop. With that said, let's get started. So this is what it looks like by the time we are finished. We're not going to talk about the shader. I did that in my previous video. But in this video, we're talking about how to get all these things, in fact, appear. And most of these thumbnails are sort of rendering. Let me just go and refresh them because that should now work. And even if you close the project, all of this should stay in place. So any of these, you can double click. And then after a few seconds, literally, it pops into place with dynamics and what have you. So the culprit wasn't actually the binding, but the BRF interpolation on the actual groom asset. If you want to have a look around and hunt for it, this is the threat uh, basically on my groom hair metahuman creator video. If you want to follow that along, this was by Ghost Projects. Thank you so much. I will have a look at where that is, where you can adjust that setting and also how you can adjust that for multiple groom assets at the same time. This is a project which is, is not enabled, namely with our guy we created last time with a mustache and with a, you know, graying hair and stuff. And you can see that most of my grooms up here, they're not showing thumbnails and most of them, as we saw last time, they didn't work. So here's what we need to do. Open your content browser. And the first thing that we need to do is up here under settings, go and enable show engine content and show plugin content. So those two things, they need to be enabled so that we can dig into the assets when we need to enable something. So with that enabled, head over here under engine and then into plugins. And further down here somewhere, we're going to see something called MetaHuman Creator Content. And that is where we need to be in. Now, over here under optional, we're going to see something called grooms. And that is where we find bindings, groom assets, groom meshes, and highlight textures. What we need to change is something called the RBF interpolation. That is not on the bindings. That is on the actual grooms asset. Now, in this, you find more subfolders. I'm going to focus on the hair, but it'll be the same for literally all the groom assets in here. So hair, and then in here, you're going to find a folder for every single hair. Let's pick this one here, inside of which you can find textures and static meshes and all that. But you also find this one groom asset here. So if you want to change it for a single one, double click it until it opens. I'll bring that over to my other monitor here. And then these tabs are all very sort of scrunched up. If you go and slide them over, you see the second tab here, which is interpolation. And there it is, the RBF interpolation. So this tick box needs to be disabled for the grooms to work. You can also go and search for it up here, RBF and make sure that's disabled. And then this particular hair is going to load. Now it's going to take quite a while to do this and go into every single hair assets, especially because there's several subfolders, especially if you were to go and change this on all these assets. So thankfully there is another way to do this. So again, I'm going to stick with the hair example here. You can go and pick yourself a filter here and then all the groom assets will be shown and nothing else. So this is a filter you get from here in this little list here. You can type in groom up here and then just go and select the first one. So not caching, not binding, it's the groom asset. And then you get this on the sidebar here. So click the grooms, then select all the ones that you want to change and then go right click on it takes a moment. <laughs> and then under asset actions, you've got this thing that's called edit selection in property matrix. And that works on most assets in Unreal Engine. If you want to change something on multiple assets that are sort of all over the place, this is the best way to do it. Another scary window comes up. And that lets you also here under RBF interpolation, disable this value for all of them. So you can go and search for that RBF and then untick this box. If it has a dash, that means some of the assets have a yes value, some have a no value. If if it has a tick box, then all of them have that value. And if it has nothing, it's disabled for all of them. So in my case, that's already done because this is saved on the content you download with the launcher. So this is not a per project thing. You only have to do this once and then this should work. So since it's already done, let me go and try one that I knew wasn't working last time. So for example, maybe this updo here, double click that, see if it works. Preparing groom bindings, that's a good sign. 
And then we have sort of an updo lady with a beard, which is uh, weird, but it does work. And also notice that most of these thumbnails now have sprung into life. If they don't do that, this option here, refresh thumbnails, that should work now. Let's give Unreal Engine a second and see if I'm correct. Nope, still no thumbnails, but hey, that's one of those things. At least the groom assets work now. Sometimes you have to apply them twice. You also need to give it a little bit of time until it can create the groom bindings for this particular skeletal mesh. But yeah, now all of them will work, at least in the projects that I've tested this with. So yeah, quick update for me. I hope this was helpful and you can go and use these grooms, of course, on not just metahumans, but on basically any skeletal mesh that you can find. You just need to make sure you have a groom asset that fits your mesh. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Ghost Project for this tip. Have fun with metahumans. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.